Day 6 of telling Molly's story until it goes viral. Look, let me tell you about this girl named Molly. It was freshman year when I met her in the party. She was standing in the corner, sipping on Bacardi. Had a really pretty face, but I kept staring at her body. I approached her, asked the name, how her day was. Told her I'm a rapper and one day I'll be famous. She laughed, but I could tell I had her intrigued. Reached out her hand. I shook it and said, my name's B. Asked where she's from. She replied with New Hampshire. Said she grew up with two brothers and a hamster. Major was English, but she wanted to be a dancer. Said she's having guy problems, and I told her I'm the answer. She said, oh. Okay, here, take my number. Princess Molly is what she saved it under. I thought it was the start of a lifelong bond. I wish back then that I knew I'd be wrong. Cause see, over the months, me and Molly got close. I even learned her favorite breakfast was juice with French toast. Her favorite movie was It, but she was terrified of ghosts. And them deep convos is what she liked the most. Wanted to talk about politics and religion. Wanted to know the difference between Catholics and Christians. Wanted to know if I thought Trump was really bugging. Wanted to know if I thought rappers were really thugging. Also wanted to talk about all of her dreams and how all she ever wanted was to be treated like a queen. Maybe travel the world, have a couple of kids. And how one day she was going marry Wiz. I told her, Chase of dreams, don't let anybody stop him. Don't always take shots and don't let the haters block her. Told her if any do hurt her, I swear to God, I'ma pop him. I'm not Chance the Rapper. They don't want these problems, but this is where the story gets deep. Molly fighting an uphill battle, that shit was steep. She never told me about her father or the abuse. She never told me how her uncle raped her when she was two. See, her whole life dudes did nothing but play her. She prayed and prayed and nobody came to save her until she met me. And I showed her something different, but right around that time, your boy had to pivot. I got a girl, and she see Molly as a threat so to make molly leave my life was her best bet and if i stayed then my girl would have became my ex and i would have accepted that if i knew what happened next molly didn't have friends i left her all alone she had a past with depression i wish i would have known one day molly decided she had enough that reba standing at her door and she couldn't call her bluff before she went she did one last thing and that was right a letter to me before she went she did one last thing and that was right a letter to me and they read there be i hope you get this letter the pain is no more and i swear i feel better while on earth the blade helped me feel relief but there's not in my head it's gonna help me feel some peace please don't cry i know you're getting emotional you're probably blaming yourself and that's why i wrote to you cb you were the only friend i ever knew and i would have gave up sooner if it wasn't for you so thank you for all the memories that we have thank you for all the smiles and all of the laughs thank you for being true and not kissing my ass and thank you for making every day feel like a blast i'm sorry this is how it has to end but you'll always be my best friend i'm sorry this is how it has to end but you'll always be my best friend love molly Man.